Thank you for joining us again on Armenia TV in Australia. Today I am joined by a very special international guest, Ms. Kate Nahabedian, who is the Executive Director of the Armenian Legal Centre for Justice and Human Rights. Prior to taking on this role, Ms. Nahabedian was the Government Affairs Director of the Armenian National Committee of America, where her tasks included um, advocating for the Armenian-American issues with members of Congress and the administration. Ms. Nahabedian is an attorney by qualification and, and previously has worked at, for the US Department of Justice, as well as on the staff for Senator Joe Biden, who, that, who later became Vice President. Thank you for joining us, Ms. Nahabedian. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So firstly, we'd, um, I'd like to ask you what um, the Armenian Legal Centre for Justice, why it was so recently established and what its main goals and objectives are. The Armenian Legal Centre is a human rights nonprofit exploring legal avenues for redress for human rights abuses emanating from the Armenian Genocide. We have an international board with representatives from Armenia, Europe, Canada, the United States, and Australia. And we seek to address the Armenian Genocide in three main baskets. The first one is looking at legal avenues for redress through U.S. courts, international courts, um, courts um, in other jurisdictions as well. In addition, we're seeking to document the actual expropriation of properties whether they're church, individual, community properties. And in addition, we're engaging the academic community to research these issues about the legal questions surrounding the Armenian Genocide through human rights clinic partnerships. 102 years on after the genocide, and Turkey is arguably looking less and less likely to come to terms with its history. Um, in your opinion, is there a time limit to gaining reparations and gaining justice for the Armenian Genocide? No, there are plenty of examples of historical atrocities that have been addressed decades after. For instance, the Holocaust actually, the reparations weren't paid out from the East Germany until several decades after the fact. In addition, we're seeing uh, many examples dealing with Native Americans, Aborigines here in Australia where they um, are returning lands or providing some uh, redress through um, affirmative action programs for instance and these are still ongoing even though these uh, crimes or injustices were committed maybe over a century ago. In addition in Turkey there is actually progress. You have one of the major parties in Turkey not only recognizing the genocide but there are Turkish academics who've hosted conferences talking about reparations and the need for them and this is in Turkey itself so we are seeing movement not only internationally but within Turkey itself it is not an impossible task to achieve so obviously justice for the Armenian genocide is the ultimate picture and is the ultimate goal is there small um, ways that people and individuals can help achieve this this goal and deeds that um, you are seeking that we can, that can help you achieve your main goal and to achieve reparations as well as recognition for the Armenian genocide? Yes, indeed. I'm glad you asked that question because one of our initiatives is to try to collect as many deeds as possible. There are instances. It, it's it's. It's not too uncommon to actually find people who have deeds and it's important for there to be one place where they can be collected. So on the ALC's website there's a section where people can upload their uh, deeds, provide any documentation that they have of these properties. So if they go to armenianlegal.org and go into the tab that says get involved there's a, an opportunity, a form that they can fill out. Even if they don't have a deed, but they have some kind of other documentation, whether it's testimony from a family member or, or photographs, 
they, that is also important for us to gather that information. So please, if you have a deed or any kind of documentation of properties, please go to armenianlegal.org and click Get Involved and send that information to us. So um, beside, other than your website, um, is there other, any additional ways for our Armenia TV viewers or the wider Armenian Australian community to stay in touch and to um, find out what the progress of the Armenian Legal Centre is in, in regards to its rep reparation efforts and all its tasks? Yes, the best way to stay engaged and aware and informed of what we're doing is to uh, sign up for our Twitter feed and our Facebook page. And again, these can be found at our website at armenianlegal.org. Finally, this was your first visit to Australia and you were the keynote speaker at our um, Armenian Genocide Commemoration evenings in both Sydney and Melbourne, as well as you attended other, um, other meetings and events. Um, from your um, impressions and what you've seen, what's your impressions of the Armenian community within Australia? Well, I think um, that what's most interesting about the Armenian community here is just how welcoming they are, how down to earth they are, and I guess that's part of the Aus Australian uh, culture. I um, am very impressed with how engaged they are, how many commemoration events that they had, how well attended they were, how well organized they were, and how they um, used the arts as well within their commemoration programs. That was, ve that was also very impressive. And uh, of course, I got a taste of the rivalry between Melbourne and Sydney. <laughs> and I will just say that I loved both communities. Thank you so much for your time and thank you to the, what, the great work you do through the Armenian Legal Centre and to your team there. Um, thanks for coming to Australia. Our, um, our com community in Australia benefited greatly from both this interview as well as um, your address at the commemoration evenings and um, all the other events we've hosted. So thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for welcoming so me so warmly. <laughs> thank you. Um, from Armenia TV to you, Nanur Shugayan. Armenia media and Gerak Tsutian Anunov, Guzeng Shinora Galutun Heitnel, Merpolori Rashavornerun. <laughs>